or something? Yeah, I had the second question, but then you switched to Can the other topic I wanted. Okay, one brother, one sister. I'll go with Yasin again. Then I had a question about um, your adventure, the whole Baina and stuff. Okay. Um, every time I watch a video or finish a video on Baina TV, I think what did give you the consistency and the motivation to keep going? Like, I, I, I just mean, love it. What was pushing you? Not the religious. I mean, yeah, yeah Allah is rewarding you, inshallah. But what's giving you the... You I know? just... I'm very entrepreneurial. Just how I am, right? And I was already working full-time. I was already college full-time. But I was always thinking about business ideas. And I, I had two big ideas. Mm -hmm. Bayina was one of them. Mm -hmm. And then I said... I thought I mapped it out for myself. And I said, okay, if I go with this other thing, which I will not tell you what it is... <laughs> uh, <laughs> But it would yeah, have nothing to do with <laughs> Islam or Quranic studies. Just a completely different field. Um, then it'll be very successful, but I don't think I'll be very fulfilled. Like I've got a sense of accomplishment, but I don't think I'll live a fulfilled life. When I did even just experimental short courses and tried out with, with teaching and stuff, I really enjoyed it. I really loved it. And what, what made me love it is that students were loving it. Right, there, there was an because I feed off of the energy of the crowd. So, for anyone who wants to do any kind of Islamic work, uh, stop thinking of it as competition. It's not a contest, it's not a competition, and it's not comparison. You're just doing something good. If you don't find meaning and, and fulfillment in that, don't do it. Don't just don't do it. One of my teachers early on told me if I was teaching, if I was sharing something about Allah's words. And only one person heard me, right? And then the next day, a million people heard me. Maybe that one person will do more good than the million people will. Mm. Because Allah said, Kun fayakun for this one person. He didn't say it for those million people, right? So you just don't, don't think about the, the scene when it comes to serving the deen. You're supposed to bring the light of Allah's word the light of Allah's teachings, His guidance in your life, in your sphere, in the business that you're running, in the company that you work in, in the university that you're at, in your own way, right? And it, it, it's, it's different from my way. There, there, so many people became Muslim by the way Muslims did trade without any preaching. Just the ethics of trade brought them to Islam. They were carrying Allah's word by way of trade, right? So go for that invisible person that you won't even know, listen to you. Subhanallah. Oh my God. Bug on your clothes. Oh, so and I will save you. I just <laughs> 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 We had a break. We broke the wall. We broke the wall. <laughs>